First HQ has just sent out a monster update for the charged up game for the championships. All teams need to be aware of this. So make sure every single team attending the world championship knows what's going on. Huge updates in regards to how the charged up game could even be played. Increase to the sustainability bonus up to now six links are required. And now there's even the supercharged grid with supercharged nodes. So when the grid is full, there's additional points that can be scored. Teams, you got to be aware of what's going on. Let's jump more into what these updates are, how it might impact you as a team, and what they truly dive into here on FRC Updates Now. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. If your team is using SOLIDWORKS, make sure you log into the 3D Experience platform to gain access to tutorials, collaborate with other users, and download the charge up field and kit up parts. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com first and click on Log into 3D Experience platform to gain access. If you're attending championships, come to the Fun and FRC Discord meetup on Thursday, April 20th from 11 to 11.45 a.m. in Conference Room 360 CNF on the third floor. We'll have games, giveaways, time to socialize, and a chance to meet the Fun and FRC Discord staff. Get a reminder RSVP on the Fun or FRC Discords, and we'll see you at championships. So let's dive into Team Update 21, which is all about changes for the World Championship. Now, there are a couple other small updates in there that we're going to bypass for now. We're going to be mostly focused on uh, specifically what's going to impact your team and the robot and the charged up game. So uh, a couple of minor updates, uh, driver station LED strings on here. So the, when the grid is now full, you're going to get an indicator of that actually happening, which more importantly is so you know that you can start to do supercharged nodes, which we'll talk about in a little bit as well. So there's going to be a, a five uh, string uh, yellow LEDs on here that will light up uh, to indicate to your team that the grid is full and now available to uh, uh, start supercharging nodes as well, which I said we'll talk about. Let's get into that. So uh, according to this update on here, if an alliance's nodes are populated with a scored game piece, the set of grids is complete, nodes may become supercharged. A node is supercharged if it contains more than one scored game piece, as defined in Table 6.1. A game piece may only supercharge one node. So let's dive into what this means on here. First off, you need to have a fully complete grid for any supercharging to happen uh, in this game. So if a game piece comes out or anything like that happens, none of your supercharged nodes will count. They'll count for the original piece, not for the extra one on top of it. The TLDR on this is that you can score one additional game piece on top of an already scored game piece. There are a couple big exceptions for this, which you can see in the diagram below, is that you need to score a uh, eligible game piece in an area. So a hybrid node can take a cube and a cone, two cones, two cubes, or anything like that. However, uh, nodes that are meant only for cones or only for cubes can only contain that game piece. So you can see on the number three diagram on here that this is not eligible for a, a cone and cube. So therefore does not count for the supercharge area. Any node that is supercharged is going to be worth three additional points as you go through. So essentially we're, we're getting beyond the 193 now. Uh, it will be interesting to see how far we can get for something like this. This is the really big update on here as well, that essentially you can chart, you can supercharge nodes. They're worth extra points, which you can see in here are worth three points each. Now, a couple other big updates with this as well. Sustainability bonus has been increased by one link. So you now need to have six links scored instead of five, with the exception being now, if you do the cooperation bonus, which I think we're all in the impression is probably going to happen every single time. It'd be very rare to have that not happen. Um, now you need to have five links with the sustainability or the cooperation bonus in order to receive sustainability on there. So now essentially one extra link needs to be scored. Now, uh, I'm not going to really go into if this is good or bad, but here's what's going to happen. Less RPs are going to be scored uh, during a match. We should still probably see the same amount of uh, uh, charging station RPs, if not increased, right, because it's championships. However, uh, sustainability bonus RPs are going to go down. By how much? We don't know. But I think it's going to be a decent amount. If I were to just randomly pull a number off the top of my head, I would not be surprised if we see somewhere around about a 20% reduction in sustainability bonus RPs. So there are obviously fantastic teams at championships will be filling up nodes, but we are going to see less on there. I do want to just scroll back up real quick just to read 
Uh, one uh, additional thing on here that's just a scoring criteria that's been slightly changed for bottom areas, which are those hybrid uh, nodes, uh, essentially seeing that fully contained in grids uh, and uh, touching field carpet barrier uh, only in one hybrid node and or game pieces touching field carpet and or barrier uh, in only one hybrid node. So uh, there's a couple things in regards to how they're fully contained within a grid. It's defining what that is a little bit more for you, at least the way that I'm interpreting this as well. A couple of big things. Make sure that you uh, are reading the game manual. Anything that we say, of course, is unofficial. This is our interpretation of it. But you need to make sure you're sending this out to your team so they are very well aware if they're attending World Championships that these are going to happen. So let us know what you think about these changes on here. Let us know if you feel this is a good thing for teams. This is a good thing for your team because what might be good or bad for FRC as a whole may impact your team either positively or adversely as well too. So let us know in the comments how you feel about these changes and we'll see you at the World Championships. Can't wait to catch up with many of you uh, down there. I will be recording uh, in the pits all of Thursday and Friday as well in FRC. We have a uh, uh, film crew also in FTC uh, and then we also do have our uh, uh, fun discord and FRC discord meetups on Thursday in rooms 360 CNF at 11 to 1145 a.m. So hope we get the catch into you. Good luck to all teams and we'll see you at championships. This video on first updates now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. If your team is using SOLIDWORKS, make sure you log into the 3D Experience platform to gain access to tutorials, collaborate with other users, and download the charge up field and kit up parts. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com first and click on Log into 3D Experience platform to gain access. The Charged Up competition season is here. We have a ton of live Twitch and YouTube content coming to you. All of our uploads and archives, including shows, behind the bumpers, finalysis, and more, are available at youtube.com slash firstupdatesnow. Check out all of our live shows on Mondays and Tuesdays at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.